All right, in this video, I'm gonna make a reload animation for my pistol. So we take a pot shot, boom, we got that zombie. There we go. And I have a key binding associated with it. Hit the R key. Cool beans, there's the reload. If we run out of ammo, it'll reload automatically. In case you're on a phone and you don't have a key binding available. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So I'm gonna use the gun from my last video. I'll put this link in the description. You can click on it and then this will be green. If you don't have it, it says get, you go ahead and press it. You can use this with other pistols too, but if you wanna follow along exactly, use this gun. All right, and let's go get a fresh world. Here's a fresh world. And now that we have our gun, let's go to home toolbox. And then we'll say inventory. It's this, it's this pistol right here. Pistol kickback damage GUI. We drag that out. Two scripts. Yep, we know. I did those in videos, so I know exactly what's in them. All right, I'm going to close that. Let's take a look at our pistol. Now, it has a kickback animation. It was published under my creator ID, so it won't work for you yet. There's one thing you got to do. Open up the pistol, right? Pistol kickback damage GUI, and then save. So I saved off the animations. You can publish this animation by right-clicking, save to Roblox, and then you can hit submit. I'm going to overwrite it because I have a lot of kickbacks. There we go. Kickback, submit. You're going to get this ID right here. Hit that little, hit those little uh, rectangles there. Or, yeah, rectangles. Close. And then we're going to go to our animation in the pistol. It's going to say kickback. See, that's like a little movie thing. This one is not, it's like a little square. Go to the little movie thing, hit the animation ID, right click, boom, there's your ID. Now it'll work because you published it under your creator ID, so you'll be able to use it in your games. Other people will be able to use it too, but you can't use my creator ID under your game. All right, now we need a, we need a sound. Let's go to the toolbox. We need a reload sound. Go to marketplace audio reload reloading let's try reloading pistol reload that's the one from the video that's perfect let's go to our pistol mesh part that's where i'm putting my sounds if you click on this and then hit insert it's going to go directly in there if it goes somewhere else just drag it on down to pistol all right i don't like that space in there so i'm going to change the name to just reload there we go. The space, you have to use the bracket, uh, the square bracket, uh, speech quote, notation. You can't use the dot notation to access this. So a little bit more complicated, not much. What do we got? We got our sound. We got to do, oh, uh, we got to do our animation now. Go to plugins, build rig, R15. You could use R6, right? But if this is your first time, use R15. Man rig. I did, I did the man rig because it looks most like my character. There we go. We got the same kind of joint layout, visually anyway. Let's go ahead and do our, get our pistol and drag it in the dummy so we have kind of a visual cue there. Now we'll go to animation editor. There we go. What does it say? Select rig to animate. Ah, oh, him. There we go. And then we're going to change the name to reload. Yeah. Now. Let's check the animation priority. I'm going to move this up so you can see it. Hit these three dots. Set animation priority. So I get a lot of comments that says, hey, my animation only works a little bit, then it stops. It's the animation priority. So we're not going to use core. We're going to go to action. So these are higher. I know you can't see these last two, but action and higher, action two, action three, that's all what you need. You need some sort of action to override the movement. Now hit these three dots save, go to your dummy, look under anim saves, reload. It should be there. If it's not, try that again. All right. If you have a tool, I'm going to get, I'm going to move that down. If you have a tool, go ahead and click the right shoulder. It's going to, the shoulder will be about like that maybe. Yeah. And then the elbow will be about like that. That's what you're going to start with. That's where I want to start my animation so that it looks, it looks very natural when it starts. It doesn't have to be exact. It could be a little bit of movement. 
All right, now what I'm gonna do, I think I'll copy these. Copy selected. Oh, you know what? This is my timeline. It's at one second. We want two seconds, right? Let's do that. Let's change that. See this little thing right here? That says one second. Boom. Two seconds. I'll just quickly go over this. See that zero and 10, zero, 20. That is the second. And this is the keyframe. Go to this little cog. Timeline units, seconds, frames, right? That's what I use. And then I use a frame rate of 30 frames per second. So when you get to 30, you switch seconds, right? That's the, that's the one and zero, just so that you have that. Let's go ahead and copy this again in case I lost it. Copy selected. And then maybe at like, I don't know, not quite 10 seconds. I'm gonna paste, paste keyframes. And I'm gonna start my reload, go up a little bit. I'm gonna get this shoulder first. I'm gonna move that green in here, red here. Yeah. And then I need to expose the bottom of the handle. That's where the clip is, right, for the reload. So I'm gonna get that lower arm, turn to blue. That's not bad. We could have done the hand too. Let me do the hand a little bit. Boom. There we go. Move the shoulder a little more. Green. No, it's just one. One will work. Yeah. Maybe down. Yeah, there you go. Let's get the other shoulder. Let's move it up. Hit the red. That good? Move it in, hit the green. Cool. Get the, the lower arm. Green. Oh, this is actually closer than I need. I'm going to move this arm back out a little bit with the green. There we go. Another green here. Oh, look at that. Right on the, right on the clip. That's not bad at all. So we're going to grab it, then we're going to like do a little pull. So I'm going to copy selected, maybe go to here, paste keyframes, and then I'm going to do it again because I'm going to pull it out here and I'm going to plop it back. So I'll go here, paste keyframes again. So I have, I have three copies of that. On this one right here, this is where I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to pop it out like I threw it. Right? Maybe hold that for like a second. You might even want to change the hand or something. I'll copy this. Paste it here. Good. I'm going to move that. Let's see what we got. So let's go to the beginning. Play. Yeah. That's not bad. All right. Now we got to turn our arm over. Yeah, I don't like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that shoulder out a little bit. And now I'm gonna turn the arm. I'm gonna rotate it that way. Cool. I'm gonna move him in a little bit. And then down. Oh, that was up. Yeah. Maybe get this arm. No, green, let's do green. Can we get this over? We're gonna have to move that arm. We're gonna have to move it closer. There we go. Now we're getting close. Let's get the shoulder up a little. Cool. Get the hand down a little, lower arm. Hand. No, I want to do it this way. I want I want it up. And then Yeah. I'm gonna rotate that hand a little. Ha! 
That's not bad. Maybe a little rotation this way. Whew, that's good. All right, we're going to do three of those. Copy. Let's do four of them. Paste. Well, we'll do another one after we get, oh, we lost this keyframe. What happened there? That's all right. We'll go back. We have a problem. Paste. I'm going to make a duplicate here for when he does his drawback. Maybe, maybe. So the drawback, I'm get this arm, pull that back. I'm just going to pull this up a little bit. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, I need to switch these. I did the wrong one. No, no, I didn't. That'll work. Let's just move this over here. Let's move this over here. I think we got it. One, two, three. Yeah. That's not bad. You can get it better, but it's, it's pretty tough on a video, let me tell you. Let's go ahead and copy this beginning one. Paste the keyframes. Now we got the two full two second animation. I moved it over that too. Let's just pull these over. Let's spread it out a little bit. Now you might want to speed certain things up, like maybe the pop in and stuff like that. This is where he's holding it. This will, this will be good. Yeah, cool. Let's go ahead and save it. I know that's painful to watch more painful to do trust me do the three dots set animation priority is good yep yep and now we'll publish the roblox there we go we got to reload go ahead and submit it i'm going to overwrite actually you know what no i'm going to submit it because i don't want to it wasn't as good as my last one so i, I don't want to overwrite all right so i got that id right here copy that close on our pistol open the pistol up hit the plus and then hit an A and they get animation. It should be down here, right? Now remember, we're in the dummy, so those, not the animation saves. All right, it should say animation on the pistol. We're gonna say reload. I'm actually gonna say anim here because I'm gonna use reload a lot. I don't wanna get confused. I am gonna add the ID, control V. There we go. All right, so we got a sound and we got the animation. The coding's not going to be that bad. We're going to go to shoot, double click, and down here. Let's go ahead and get our sound first. So we have our reload SND, reload sound, script dot parent dot, remember it was on the pistol. Wait for child, reload. Whoops, there you go, reload, right? So that has to match what's on the pistol. Right, what we put in there. This right there, reload. All right, local. What else do we need? We need our, we need a flag to make sure that we aren't currently reloading. So I'm gonna call that is reloading. Let's set the false. Hmm, what else? Uh, we need our user input service for our key binding. Game, get service. User input service. We need the animation that we just spent so much time on. I'm gonna call that reload anim and what script dot parent dot is a reload anim. There it is. Reload anim. Maybe we should do a wait for child. Let's do that. Let's do a speech quote, wait for child reload anim just to make sure we don't it's ready and then we'll do oh we need our we need a reload track but we got to load that into humanoid first so we'll set that to nil oh and then a key for our key binding right so we have our user input service but we need a key binding too so we'll say reload key and that'll be enum key code and look you can pick all, any of them you want, any of the character, any of the letters you want. I'm going to hit R. All right. We are going to need a reload function, right? So local function reload. All right. We're going to check to see what well, we're going to set our is reloading to true because we are reloading. And then we're going to say 
reload sound play, reload track play. Now remember that's nil right now. We have to we have to load that in the humanoid first before we can use it. And then we're going to wait the same period of time. But remember our load our reload track and our sound was about the same length. Right? They're both about two seconds. So what was that? Length. That's it. Length. All right, then we're going to get our ammo because we're reloaded. And it's going to be equal to the max ammo. All right, and then we got to set our screen GUI. We're just going to copy this down here in the make ammo GUI so we can see it. Boom. Cool. Oh, and don't forget, when you're all done that, we're going to set our flag to false because we are no longer reloading. False. Nice. All right. Let's get our animation track. We're going to have to modify that on, on equipped, right? So we have our kickback track. We're going to do our animation track or our what, what, reload anim track, right? Humanoid animator. That must not be in the IntelliSense yet. Load animation. Reload anim. That's it. Cool. That's all we have to do there when we equip. We have to just make sure we have our, our, and our reload track ready. All right. Now here, this is where all the action happens, right? We click on something. If can shoot is good, we can shoot. Ammo is sufficient. Then we're going to check to make sure we are not reloading. Oh, and it was is reloading was the flag, right? We're going to do that here. Copy, and we're going to do that here because we don't want to reload twice. Now here we were doing an empty clicking sound. We're still going to keep our click stuff because we're going to have a total ammo at some point, right? But right now we have unlimited ammo, so we will do our reload. This is the method, right, that we, that we defined up here, up at the top. Cool. And then there's one other way we want to reload too. Right, we want to use our reload. We want to use our key bindings for people with keyboards. So, user input service, uh, input began, connect. We'll do an anonymous function. We're gonna have input and then game process flagged. I'm not gonna do anything with the game process. Uh, let's see. We have our input. We're gonna check to see if the input is our key code. So, input key code equals equals r. Right, which was. We gave it a key, didn't we? I think we called it reload key. Yeah. And then we're going to do and ammo is not already max ammo. Cool. And we're not already reloading. Is reloading. Cool. Then let's go ahead and make this two lines. Good. Then all we do is call our reload function. Where is it? Reload. There it is. Reload. I think we're good. I think we're done. Right? Play. Just try it. Uh, we got to put it in our backpack. Our starter pack. Right? It's on the zombie. Or, uh, what do you call it? The, the dummy. Let's get this pistol kickback. We're going to drag it on down to starter pack. There we go. We'll shoot him. Get in there. Boom. Let's take a look at our view output window. Oh yeah, we got down to six. Good. And let's fire one, hit the R key. Cool. Let's hit the R key a couple times. Good. So that it's, uh, we know we're not, we, we know we're, uh, doing checks. I think we're good. Yeah. All righty. So there you go. You got a reload animation and you hooked it up to your pistol.